everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome back to yet another episode of Hump Day with Rupa. Did you notice I've changed the name? Yes, it's going to now be called Hump Day with Rupa. Um, as you can see from the title of the video, we are going to be reviewing all the handbags that I've purchased during the lockdown. Which ones I love and why, which ones I haven't used much and maybe it's time to let them go. Please help me to decide, I think that would be awesome. Um, but before we get into the video, if you like this video, I would love for you to hit the like button and also if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe. Your likes and subscribes mean the world to me. It also means that I can create better content and reach a wider audience, so please do subscribe and like and always comment below tell me what you like which part of the video resonated with you you know the drill i'm sure you've been doing this for a long time if you are interested in seeing more of me um, you can catch me on instagram i do share daily posts of videos and reels and i also do my pr unboxings and everything else that i get up to when i am not here on youtube so please just you know subscribe not subscribe actually follow Honestly, I get confused between subscribe and follow and all of the other terms. So you know the drill, you know what it is. Um, and yeah, before, you know, I keep talking about just random stuff, let's get started. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to restrict the number of handbags to just my luxury purchases. So all the designer handbags, otherwise we'll be here till midnight and we don't want that. Anyway, um, the first bag that I purchased at the start of lockdown was this Chloe bag. I will admit I don't know the names of any bags, so when I link them in the description, I will name them and I will give you every detail that I know about them. But at this stage, I just know the brand name. If I know the name, I will mention it, but I do apologize. I am terrible with names, so let's get that out of the way. Um, but yeah, this is the first bag. I love this beautiful um, blush taupe color. And honestly, I saw it on one of the influencers that I absolutely loved probably a year before lockdown. And I've been umming and eyeing about whether I should buy it or not. And like any other designer purchase, I literally sat on it for a very long time. And when this color um, came in stock, I decided to treat myself to this bag and honestly, I loved it. I have worn this bag so much. Um, it is quite a compact bag. Um, as you can see, it's not that big. It fits everything. It's great for evenings. It's great for uh, when you're just um, stepping out for something quick. However, I will admit it is not that big when it comes to going out for the whole day. So if I want to put my camera or even my phone. So what I'm going to do is try and show you um, my phone and it doesn't fit, which is quite disappointing. So that is the only thing I have to then put my, either hold my phone in my hand or put it in my um, you know pocket if I have one but it does fit my wallet, it fits everything else. If you've got a smaller phone, you will be able to use this bag. But unfortunately, um, we th I've got an iPhone 12 Max Pro Max, I think that's the one, and it doesn't fit. So, but otherwise, I love the color, I love the gold hardware. I will certainly keep it, because it's beautiful to wear out for dinners, perfect size for an evening out or just a lunch date. Um, but other than that, I can't really bring it out for um, every day, you know, for the whole day, because then I have to actually carry a tote bag in addition to this. So that's something to keep in mind when you are looking at one of these bags. So back in 2020, the second bag that I purchased was this uh, Jacques Meuse. I think they're called Chiquita or something. Don't quote me on it. Um, but yeah, I purchased this bag. Um, obviously there's been a huge trend of these small bags and I purchased it and I must admit I have used it a lot. Um, it is a beautiful bag, great for evening and just like everyday wear. However, 
you knew there was a but coming. Um, I have the same problem with my phone. With this, the phone doesn't fit. Like the um, Chloe, it's got this one big compartment and then also just like a card section here. Um, and it's great for evenings. It's great if you like a smaller bag and you can fit all the essentials in it. I do struggle with it. And in 2021, I did buy another bag, which was slightly bigger than this, fits everything that I need, including my phone. So I think I'm going to let this one go. Um, I might be selling this. So as sad as I am about it, I do love this bag. I don't want to hold on to too many smaller bags because they don't serve a purpose and they're just taking up space. And I just want to keep only paces that I genuinely love and I know I will get a lot of wear out of. So yeah, this I think is going to go. Let me know what you guys think. So another bag that I purchased in 2020 was this vintage Fendi baguette uh, bag. And I absolutely loved it. It was in mint condition. Um, as you can see, still in great condition. And it didn't come with this crossbody belt. So I actually bought the belt separately from the Fendi store. And this has been one of my best 2020 purchases. Honestly, I have worn this bag to death and it is still in great condition. And so highly recommend if you can get your hands on one of these vintage bags. I bought this from Vestier Collective. Um, so I'll try and link very similar bags, um, as many as I can find. And honestly, such a good buy, great size, fits my phone quite a casual bag so it's great for everyday wear i wore it a lot during winter and summer so i think this is a bag that i will keep for a very long time and have no intention of selling it and yeah very good purchase very very happy with it so definitely one that i'm keeping this was the final bag i purchased in 2020 which is a balenciaga hourglass bag uh, with silver hardware. Um, as you can see, it's quite minimal, quite a good size, fits my phone, fits my camera and all my essentials. Really good size. The only problem I'm facing with this bag is it's got silver hardware and at the time I used to wear a bit of silver accessories and I haven't been wearing, I'm really wearing more of gold now and honestly I haven't been reaching out for this bag. So. As much as I've loved this bag, I haven't reached out for it. It is a great size. The other thing that I must admit that I, it does have a lot of compartments. However, I feel like it's not very safe for travel because the top bit is open. So that's the other thing that bugs me is that if I go traveling, I don't think I would be carrying this bag because I'll always be nervous and I'll just hold on to my, you know, my bag. So, I'm thinking I'm going to let this one go. What are your thoughts, guys? Tell me I'm doing the right thing. Tell me I should sell it. So those are the purchases for 2020. Um, start of 2021, I purchased this Coach uh, Tabby 26, I think. I think I've got the name right, in this creamy color. And this is another bag that I have absolutely loved. I love the size it fits everything that i need to fit in it and it's still compact it can be top handle or crossbody honestly one of the best bags that i have owned and i have worn it to death i've um, added a little bit of things to just keep the shape but basically it's got quite a few compartments it's got this one then it's got a zipper another compartment and then it's got the front and the back for the price point this is a brilliant bag and i highly recommend it gorgeous a little bit of an underdog um, and it's one of those brands that the price point is great the quality is great but it's people just you know sometimes you know I, and I'm guilty of that you just go for the bigger brand just because it's got more of a name and I feel like if you were looking for an everyday bag in a smaller budget this is a fantastic bag comes in different colorways comes in a mix and match of colors so highly highly recommend this bag I'm not letting this one go. I really love it. And so I think I'm going to continue wearing this because it's a perfect everyday bag. So the next bag, um, staying on the coach train, <laughs> is this coach pillow tabby. So again, a tabby, same style, but a pillow version. And it 
is a beautiful bag great size for an everyday use i however have found it to be too bulky in you know as compared to the other coach tabby bag which is a lot more compact i feel like this is quite bulky um, it does have the um, top handle it has the um, you know the crossbody strap similar um, compartments so everything else is pretty much the same however it does um, feel a little bit bulky so I really wish I had purchased the smaller version which came out a few months after I think I would love to keep the smaller version but I think with this one for me particularly I don't like anything that's too bulky um, especially if I'm wearing a coat in winter because black bags and normally pull out more in winter and I feel like wearing it on top of a coat or um, just a jacket it just becomes too bulky for me um, so I think I'm going to be selling this bag so the next bag from 2021 is this Louis Vuitton Locky baby in the colorway black um, and the monogram and this is a brilliant purchase I have worn it I love it it fits my phone and it's just like the other bags it's got one compartment um, and it's got this little pocket for your cards um, great bag for day and night I've worn this out shopping with the girls and then gone straight for dinner and it is quite a versatile bag I do wear this more in winter in comparison to summer probably just because of the colorway um, but honestly great bag it's got the crossbody strap it's got the top handle I bought this twilly so it doesn't come with a twilly obviously uh, you'll need to buy your own twilly but genuinely love 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 this bag and I think I'm gonna keep this for a while um, so definitely um, a good one that I so the next bag is the Chanel Coco with the top handle um, this was a bit gift to myself on my birthday back in July 2021 and this is the bag that I was telling you about that fits my phone fits everything that I need I can technically fit my camera but it's a bit of a tight squeeze so I don't try and push things into this bag it is an expensive bag um, one of those bigger purchases that save I saved up for years I always wanted a Chanel bag I've seen my uh, you know um, loved ones have it and I it was something that I aspired for and in 2021 I saved up enough money to justify this bag because I knew the other bags weren't serving a purpose so absolutely love it um, so this bag comes with um, this big large pocket then there is this separate compartment here and also a compartment at the back here right I have worn this during the day as well as night I love that it's got a top handle um, as well as a strap so I wear it both crossbody it does come up quite high with crossbody so sometimes I just put it on my shoulder absolutely love it I've worn it so much and I haven't seen any scratches which is why I love this um, caviar leather I feel like the lambskin is beautiful but it does scratch and I'm always nervous that I'm not the most careful person and especially with my bags I don't baby my bags I do look after them they do go back in the dust bag however I don't like to baby them they are you know something that you should use and not worry so much so definitely one of the purchases that I am so so happy about and I love this little twilly that I bought along with it so definitely one of my very favorite purchases that is going to stay with me for a long time Another bag that I purchased in 2021 was this Acne Studio Musubi, I think I'm pronouncing it right, I hope I'm not butchering it, uh, Musubi bag and it is again a top handle as well as a crossbody bag and I went with this beautiful sage green colour because I didn't have, as you've noticed so far, I don't have a lot of color in my um, you know, back collection. So I went with this color and I absolutely love it. It comes with um, just this big section with one compartment here, one here, and this little zip in the middle. And it comes with, as like other bags, it comes with the dust bag. 
Um, again, a brilliant bag for everyday you know, use. I, when I'm going out for client meetings, I go see my styling clients or if I'm on a photo shoot, this is brilliant. Actually, I helped one of my clients, um, an executive who works at one of the top you know, banks, purchase um, this bag in a black um, because she really liked it when she saw it on me and it was something that she was missing in her wardrobe just for the weekends when she's out with her kids she wants to put things in her bag this was perfect for that and so she purchased it in a black and she has honestly loved it as much as i do definitely a great quality bag for the price point um highly recommend acne studio bags i feel like they're quite sturdy and um they do soften with time um Obviously, we've been in lockdown, so I haven't been able to wear as much as I would like to, but I'm hoping now that in 2022 things have opened up, this would be a brilliant um, bag that I can use for everyday, you know, everyday um, wear. So, yeah, definitely a great purchase. And finally, coming to the last purchase of 2021 yes, 2021 was this Loewe basket bag. Now, this was very popular in 2020. So what I did was I bought a high street version from Mango, used it in 2020 to see if I got enough viewers out of it. And honestly, I was wearing my basket bag almost everywhere during the summer. So in 2021, I decided to invest in it. And by God, I must admit, I have loved this bag. I literally carry it everywhere. I'm going for a shoot, I'm going to the beach, I'm going shopping. This bag is always with, with me. It's normally in my car now. So that's how much I use this bag. One of the most versatile bags and it does come with a dust bag um, that you can actually just tie inside and make it like a little section where you can throw your things in. So really, really good bag. Um, highly recommend so those are all the bags that i purchased during lockdown let me know what you think about the ones that i'm thinking of selling and the ones that i love which one is your favorite i would love to know um, and please comment about it i'm curious i'm so curious to know what you guys think and which one is your favorite um, as you've also seen in the title the other thing i wanted to share with you today was my you know january month purchase so if you follow me on instagram you will know that i buy an item every month i i do have this whole um igtv that i did on instagram about it i can share it with you it's something that i tell all my clients during the workshops that i conduct that it's so important to be mindful of how much you're shopping and not to get swayed by trends let me show you what i have bought for my item of the month for january so as you can see i have not unboxed it i've been so good about it um i bought this from my Teresa, and i will bring it out and show you this cute little by far bag and i know it goes against everything i said today about smaller bags but I was missing a white bag um, for evenings, especially in summer. It's one of those bags that I'm really struggling with. Um, you know, I used to be able to wear my um, black bags during winter, but as soon as summer hit, I was struggling a lot to pair my summer dresses with, you know, the black bags or the tan bags. So I have purchased, ta -da, let me bring it out this cute little bag by far bag um in the white colorway it is this beautiful luxurious leather i love the gold hardware i am pretty sure it comes with a crossbody yes it does it comes with a crossbody and let's let's have a look let's take everything out and it is literally just this one section now I think the biggest test is to see if I can fit my phone. Oh, hang on, maybe. Or am I going to be stuffing it? Oh no, no, it doesn't fit. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't fit, but you know what, it's okay. Between my Chloe bag and this bag, um, I've got my evenings covered in summer. And I genuinely love this cute little bag. I will keep you posted. I will let you know. I'll give you feedback on how I go with this bag in the next, you know, few months. 
I will update you, but if you're interested, I will link it, um, you know, in the description box. And yeah, this is my latest uh, purchase for the month of January. So that was everything that I have purchased during the lockdown. Um, and I have obviously told you which ones I have loved and worn a lot and which ones I am considering selling. Let me know what you guys think, which one you guys love, like I've mentioned. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. I will be styling this, uh, the new bag um, and all these other bags different ways on Instagram so do um, follow me on Instagram if you haven't done that already I really really hope you enjoyed this um, have a fantastic week ahead and I'm excited to see you next week back here with another video for hump day with Rupa until then take care guys see you next time